Isadora Duncan's life was filled with tragedy. As a kid, she fell in love with dancing and started teaching the other kids around her neighborhood. Eventually, these classes became so large that she left school to teach dance full time. This started her career as a dancer and performer, and she would later come to be known as the mother of modern dance. But despite her professional success, her life was filled with tragedy after tragedy. First, in 1913, her two children and their nanny drowned when the car they were in lost control and landed in the river. Then, a few years later, her husband's health declined to the point that he passed away in just his early 30s. In just a few short years, Isadora lost everyone who meant anything to her. Then, one evening in September, she got into an early car known as an Amilcar CGS, wearing a long scarf given to her by a friend of hers to keep her warm on the drive because this car was a convertible. The wheels on this car had spokes just like a modern bicycle, so as soon as it accelerated, Isadora's scarf got caught in the spokes and ripped her from the car, breaking her neck and killing her instantly. She was later cremated and buried next to her children in a cemetery in France.